Um, my stir fry eating technique is as follows. Hello and welcome to another video and if you're wondering why my face is so remarkably shiny it's because I'm wearing sun cream because I was promised by the weather forecasters it will be sunny today. Turns out it's been overcast all day and it's actually raining now so cheers guys. Anyway, I'm going to start this video, before I start the video, sorry, I'm going to tell you a little uh, little piece of information which I think is pretty critical. I went to visit my grandma yesterday and she told me quite explicitly, if enough people do not like this video, I'm going to set fire to all of my neighbour's chickens. So, I mean, obviously the ball's in your court, but if you do value life, I think you know what to do. Right, now the elephant in the room is addressed, let's get on with the video. So, uh, first things first, I'm in my car, obviously, as you probably noticed, I apologise, I seem to be starting a lot of my videos in my car, but it's kind of the nature of my life, like I finish work, I come to the gym, and the only uh, kind of suitable time to talk to you between those two time frames is in my car, so I tend to do it. However, I am breaking up for summer holiday soon from school, and therefore I'll be able to do all kinds of crazy uh, videos. I've been all different places, like uh, hanging upside down from a crane, for example, that's on my list, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna go in in a second and do some touch and go bench press, and then a little bit of shoulder, action also I forgot this I don't know how much to forget this uh hello so snivelled away down the snivelled's not a word in that in that context snivelled away down there is my uh my protein delivery which I've been waiting patiently for which you would know if you watched my previous videos if you didn't watch that just go if you didn't know that go and watch them now uh yeah so that's the stuff that I've been waiting for for a while it's very very exciting I think I think it's exciting I had a little peek in there earlier so I'll show you that after training but for now I'll go in get that done see you on the other side and I'm back home and that was fine like it felt right touch and go bench press felt pretty good to be fair like I'm definitely adapting to the not pausing aspect of it and it felt fairly easy if I'm honest um, the rest of the stuff was fine nothing exciting to report all my numbers have gone up again so if you're unaware of this I've said it in a few videos to be fair um, in fact if you watch my uh, how to bulk video I put up a couple of days ago that explains my plan in terms of what I'm doing but basically um, I am keeping track of all of my numbers in terms of my hypertrophy work as well as my heavy stuff. Uh, and so basically the plan is as those go up, I should obviously be getting bigger uh, in keeping with my bulking strategy. Anyway, who cares about that rubbish when you've got some of this to play with? Woo! So exciting times afoot. This is my delivery. Uh, let's see what's in it. So we've got some of this stuff. Go away. Okay, loads of bloody stuff. I mean, straight away. Hello, that's the exciting bit. I'll show you that in a second. So, this is coconut oil, which I've been waiting for for a while because I run out and it's been horrendous having to have no coconut oil because that's basically at the forefront of my bulking strategy. But now, we are fully equipped with two of these bad boys. And the only reason I didn't order a gigantic one is because A, I didn't want uh, my protein to think I'm some kind of pervert, and B, Sears wouldn't let me. Um, then we got loads of nuts. In fact, Quite a, Jesus, quite a lot of cashew nuts. These are like my, one of my main snacks throughout the day. I always say that cashews are like the best nuts. They're really easy to eat and the, the macros are superb. Oh my God. I don't even remember asking for this many packs. Jesus Christ, six packs of cashew nuts. Oh no, it's not, they're walnuts. Okay, six, five packs of cashews, 
one pack of walnuts. They're really good for cooking. You can add them to like, I don't know, some like Greek type food, Moroccan food. Uh, then I've got some creatine because I'm only a little bit low. That's quite a small bag. Um, I've got some liquid chalk because I'm literally about to run out. Although this lasts me for freaking ages. If you need chalk, this is, uh, I can't even remember now, it's about a fiver or so, it might even be less than that. And it literally, my last one lasted me like two years, so use my link and buy that. Um, and uh, some more shorts, just like general use shorts, which I'll see what they're like later on. But, oh my god, there's more, oh yeah, I've got some samples as well. Different protein samples, so this is like natural chocolate, because I use chocolate smooth. And this sounds better because it's called natural chocolate, so I figure I'll just try it and see if it sucks or if it doesn't suck. And then this is white chocolate. I'll be honest, in my head, white chocolate is going to be unbelievably sickly, but a few people have told me it's decent, so I'm going to give it a try because I'm all for trying new things. Which, by the way, on that topic, if, you, if there are any things you want me to try or any protein flavours, for example, you want me to try, let me know and I'll try and do it. Um, and then this is... <laughs> Banta, this is pineapple flavour. Now, let's be honest, pineapple protein is pretty much the most horrendous idea in the world, but just for that reason alone, because I thought it would be funny, I brought it and I'll try it at some point. I might, if I remember, I might even try it tonight just for a laugh. Um, okay, so this is what I've been waiting for, and I can't even open the box, especially with one hand. Well, let's take it over here because this is going to be a disaster otherwise. Oh my god, I should probably just stop the video and do this. Look at these bad boys. So, uh, if you're unaware, my protein now do uh, Under Armour stuff, and they also do like a kind of a CrossFit range. And the, I need some new trainers. And as these are from my protein, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna bloody do it. So I got some of these, and they're pretty freaking sweet. So I will now be wearing these for my hypertrophy stuff. I imagine. Oh yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. So I just thought I would show this stuff because I don't want to be like, I don't want to look like I'm like bragging, like, oh, look at all my free stuff but I want to show that I'm grateful because I think um, like I am at the point now where I'm getting loads of like free stuff really because some of it is really cool as you've just seen there um, and I want people like you know everyone to realize that I'm very very grateful I think it's freaking awesome I get so excited when I get stuff Sarah's get super excited it's really really fun so um, yeah I just thought I'd show you that anyway I need to get some food because I'm bloody hungry banana cam okay so I'm having a snack like a pre Dinner snack, um, and it's comprising of the following. I'm gonna crack open some of my protein cashew nuts. This banana that I'm in the process of eating. You know, weird, and like, bananas are so weird, like, whoop, whoop. Um, And then, a few marshmallows, because I'm lazy and they're easy calories. Um, now, we have a bit of a disaster, a bit of a situation, because uh, 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 we have nothing in our fridge. We are stupid, um, when we forgot to get meat out, so, we're scraping the barrel, so I don't know what we're gonna do. What I'll do is brainstorm, AKA ring says, and then, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of frozen meat here, muscle food stuff, but obviously that's no good because it's frozen, so I will figure out what we're gonna do, uh, and then I'll catch up with you when we have a concrete dinner plan. Right, says has been back. We were umming and ahhing as to what to do for dinner, because obviously we haven't got anything. Luckily, Andrew, AKA says his dad, has come to the rescue and offered us a stir fry at his house right now. He literally lives like two doors down the road, so it's pretty much the best case scenario. I'm gonna demonstrate to you, in fact, just how close his house is. Here we go. Ta-da! Here we go, hello. Um, so here is the prep, there's a lot of noodles and accessories, probably put this in there as well I imagine. If you wish. I think Sirs is probably sat out here, Sirs! Oh, in the toilet, awkward. Boy. Well the stir fry has taken shape and you know you've got enough stir fry when you have to spill over to a second frying pan. There is the finished product. So, um, this has got noodles and then chicken and bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Yeah, loads of beans, especially these bad boys. Peppers, onion. Um, and then veg. Oh, 
Missionary yeah, I'm already listing the veg, mate. We know we've established that. Uh, veg. Bean, what's green bean? No, what are they called? Green beans? Beans? Runner beans? What? We're green? Beans. Yeah, what else was that? Monge 2. Monge 2. Whoa, thank you very much. Monge 2, that is pretty misty. Um, I'm going to add some uh, sweet chilli sauce to this bad boy with my left hand, which is pretty risky. Oh my god, that's way too much. Um, also doubling up on the drink front. Coke, orange juice, that's a balanced diet. Um, yeah, this is my first bowl. I'll probably go back for a second. Here we go. Bowl number two. That was rude, wasn't it? Um, my stir fry eating technique is as follows. Pretty efficient. Uh, yes, please. Okay, stir fry done. My dessert starter is some melon. And finally, the dessert main course, which is ice cream and custard and then a bit of token rhubarb because they're those freaks having rhubarb. I'm not a big rhubarb fan and they've basically bullied me into having it. Now, ice cream and custard, if you haven't tried it, is a pretty exceptional combo. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how, just how exceptional it is by eating some of it right now and expressing my enjoyment. Oh my god, it's really cold as well. If you have sensitive teeth, that's a no-go. Um, OMG, it's awesome. So I'm going to have that. Probably have some more in a minute and then see you at home. My kitchen is where I am now. Um, so after my dessert main course, I had a dessert dessert, which was the coffee and then like one of those old school caramel wafery type things, which are really, really good. That noise signals or signifies the fact that my milk is now... Whoa, it's actually probably too warm. Uh, that is whole milk, which I'm gonna put in this bad boy with, hello, back on the agenda, some of the uh, coconut oil, which I got a second ago. I'll have like th probably 25 to 30 grams of that, which is gonna give me some sweet macros. Look at that, 100 grams of that is 900 calories. Jesus Christ, um, that's insane. Uh, also, says you are a hero uh, she brought these home earlier which are as you can see double chocolate cookies don't mind if i do still pretty fresh um so i'm gonna finish that cookie for a few extra calories mm, then i'll have the uh what was it again i had a good name i had a name for the the hot milk protein, creatine, uh, coconut oil concoction. Someone, in fact, someone commented a really good name for it, like Pro, Proconut. That's quite good, Proconut, something along those lines. I'm gonna have my hot Proconut, um, then I'm going up to bed. So, ending the video here, guys. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the fact that I slurped my noodles like a complete freak, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow.